We're going to touch down just before the 1,000 foot markers. That's our, that's our aiming point. That's what we're going to aim to touch down okay. on. The purpose of this maneuver is when we don't have enough power to come to a hover. Let's say we've got a, some sort of, something like a, a mag failure or a, a sticky valve or a, whatever it might be. Okay. We don't have full power. We're pulling, let's say we were pulling a max continuous just to hold 50 knots or something like that, we'd be like, oh, we've got a power problem, we can't yeah, yeah. bring it to a hover. To simulate that, I'm going to limit myself to only be able to have 19 inches of manifold pressure. Okay. That's like just saying there's no more power available. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold the speed Main in. Traffic Skyhawk 27 Mullen Romeo is currently six miles to the northeast at 6,000 feet inbound for landing on runway 34 bend. Yeah, so we're going to hold the speed in above 30 knots for as long as we can because once we get below 30 that's the time that we're going to really need the power and by that point hopefully we're closer to ground okay. and we make like a run on okay clear left ahead and right okay when we come round to start yeah, running landing we normally want to be about 360 knots as we come round so we've got about 100 feet to lose and traffic heading up to 40 kilo, right base turning final 34. Be slight delay on the runway, Ben. So 60 knots and about 300 feet AGR, which would be 3,008, is a good start point because we're going to start this nice shallow run. -in. And remember, we're not aiming for the numbers; we're aiming for the thousand foot mark. Okay. So keep that in mind and really watch what happens with the airspeed and when I come up on the collectors. So follow along a little bit on the uh, cyclic and okay. uh, collective. So just keep this descent coming down. This is shallower than normal, right? This isn't how we normally make our approaches, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's part of it is we're going to have a shallower than normal approach. We'll keep the speed in. As we come over the threshold, we want it to feel a little bit like an air taxi. So it should feel about 40 knots and 40 feet. Now that really does depend partly on the uh, wind speed as well, but okay. it's a kind of good number to aim for. Make sure we ID the wind sock. Yeah, wind sock showing still out of the north. We're about 50 knots, so we want to ease back on the power or on the uh, cycle a little bit. Skyhawk 271 Romeo. Uh, right, coming miles, over the threshold. Feels east, a bit like an air uh, taxi. Keep on coming down. 5,500 5, across the midfield for a left down wind three four. Bleeding off airspeed now to simultaneously. Here's our 30 knots. At this point, we're going to have to start pulling up on power if we want to stop ourselves from sinking. As I do that, I'm going to keep pushing forward with the cycle because I don't want to bleed off all my airspeed yet. Okay, I want to keep some performance. You can feel the vibrations of transverse yep. effect. Keeping it, okay, we're coming up to 18, 19. Look down the runway and push forward because we want to make sure we land on the skids level. Okay. And then smoothly lower the collective to our spot. All right, okay. and then we're using the cyclic to control drift and we're using the pedals to control the yaw. Uh, the yaw. Okay. Make sure we don't. Right south, top of the green, three in the green, fuel good and coffee's good. Okay, we're clear left, the head and right. I'm going to come round, I want to turn base to final, like I said, about 60 knots and 300 feet AGL, so that'll be 3,800 on the uh, altimeter here. Still looking good on final. Bend traffic, helicopter 7 Tango Hotel, right base to final, runway 34, slight delay on the runway, bend. I'm saying slight delay because we're going to be skidding along for a little bit and I want to make sure, it's just a habit you should have if you're doing this maneuver, that you inform by the traffic you're going to be a little bit longer on the uh, on the runway. Once we come around to final, do our usual checks, the lights out, top of the green, three in the green, fuel good, carpy, could you identify and pull full carpy please? Identify carpy, pull full carpy. Okay. I'm going to limit myself to about 18 inches of manifold pressure, just to simulate a power limited situation, maybe we've got a problem with the engine. And you see we've got one red light, Yeah. that's a good, this puppy lines up quite well to, to be a shallow approach with one red light. We're going to aim to touch down at a thousand foot markers, okay? So you look at this side picture here, it looks a little bit lower, maybe just a slightly bit lower than a normal approach. This is our shallow approach angle. As we come over the threshold, um, a good rule of thumb, depends on the wind and speed and everything else, is about to feel like a, an air taxi, so I should be coming across about 40 and 40. I haven't been bleeding off the airspeed too, too well on this approach, so it's 50 feet and I'm still decaying the airspeed, I'm feeling about 40 and 40 as I come over, almost a little bit faster. So I've got to bear that in mind that when it comes to touchdown, I'm going to be going a little bit faster airspeed-wise, but that's good because it will slow down my ground speed. The wind's holding me up a little bit. I want to make sure I keep the heading of the aircraft facing down the runway. Okay, as we get below 30 knots, I know the performance is going to change and I'm going to have to start pulling in the power, right? But I know I'm also power limited. So I want to keep looking down the runway, running out of airspeed, 
starting to come up to my limit. Look down the wrong way and make sure I land on the, the skids flat. Don't land on the back. So, a little bit of a bounce there. Lower collective, off, uh, left cyclic to stop any drift. And the collective lowering is just like that. We don't want to dump it down because that will flick us over maybe if we're on a rough terrain. So we're just lowering the collective smoothly once you make contact. Pedals holding our direction, cyclic stopping us from drifting.